Good afternoon. All right, I'm running late into the office, so I'm going to try to make this quick. I planned on making this a much longer video, and maybe I'll do a part two around uh, maybe around 2 o'clock when I have a break. Um, but I posted a video that's making the rounds, and it's all about a young black lady in, the, in her car made a video about how men are no longer obsessed with women. Um, and now I'm sure most of you have seen it. If you've seen this video, I posted it to my channel, but I've also seen it posted to several other channels, uh, several other pages. And there's a lot of different reasons why this is. Um, mo many of the reasons that she gave, there are some women in the comments. Okay, my car is talking. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I'm sorry. My, I don't know. I hit something and my car started talking. Um, but the young lady gave several reasons in the video as to why that is. Um, there were absolutely no lies told in what she said. And there are a lot of women in the comment section of the pages who posted this video who were pushing back. And the truth of the matter is, ladies, I need you to understand something. If she's not talking about you, like, you don't have to feel like you need to defend all womankind, okay? What I find so fascinating about now is when we say women or when we say men, you all <laughs> cannot seem to wrap your head around, of course we don't mean all women. Of course we don't mean all men right? But it's almost like we have to say that every time. Whereas in the past, that used to be implied that, of course, I don't mean all men, and of course, I don't mean all women. But because people are not critical thinkers, as I've said thousands of times on my platform, you don't know how to critically think. You know, you don't know how to, um, to assess when something is implied. So now we have to say, like, all of the words. And I keep telling people, yes, some men some women, most women, most men. That's what I now have to do because when I say women or when I say men, all these people start jumping into the comments. Well, you know, that's a generalization. It's not everybody. Okay, that's implied. That's implied. It definitely isn't me. So the things she said were some of the reasons why men are not obsessed with women anymore. None of them apply to me. None of those things apply to me. So I know she's not talking about me, and I don't need to jump into the comments and try to defend every woman on earth. Like, that's not my job to do. I just know she didn't include me in her commentary. She included a, a whole lot of women, you know. She didn't include me. She might not have included you. So you don't need to jump in to the comments and feel like you need to uh, take up for every woman in the world. It's not you. Keep it moving. Keep it pushing. You can give your thoughts or your uh, opinions about, you know, in general about what was said, but you don't need to do that. But yes, what a lot of women, not all of them, but a lot of them, don't want to come to the realization of is they have given in to the culture. They have given in to what the culture says men want or what the culture says they should look like, sound like, act like. You've given in. You've given in to a societal pressure, and now, unfortunately, it's like you picked the wrong team. It's like picking teams, right? We have two teams, and you, you only get to pick one, and unfortunately, a lot of women chose the wrong team. They chose a losing team. That's what you don't want to hear. You chose a losing team. When you choose to be in uh, a very masculine way of being, when you choose to be in that feminist energy, when you choose to become the man that you actually want to marry, unfortunately, you chose the wrong team. <laughs> that's, that's what a lot of women don't want to hear. But you chose the wrong team. When you choose to alter your body surgically, when you choose to put all this stuff in your face, and when you choose to put all this hair on your head and nails and lashes and all of that stuff, because that's what everybody's doing. That's what's popular. That's what the culture say. But the bad news is you chose a losing team. And that's what, for some reason, women will not accept. 
the thing that you chose, the choice that you made, the team you chose to be on is not winning. That team is not winning. Guess what? There is a winning team. There are women out here who are finding men, perfectly wonderful men, perfectly kind men, perfectly lovely men, masculine men. They're finding men to date. So, like I said, you just, unfortunately, you chose the wrong team. You chose to succumb to the cultural pressure that says, I need a butt this big and boobs this big and my lips need to be this and my hair need to be this and the nails need to be like claws and the lashes need, all of that foolishness. That's what you chose. But unfortunately, you know, men may want to sleep with that, but they may, they may not want to marry that. They can't imagine that being the mother of their children. Like That's what a lot of women don't want to come to that realization. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, so that's really what she's talking about. But there are other reasons. There are sociological reasons why men are not obsessed with women. And I'm going to post some content later today. I find my content does best when I post it around 8 or 9 o'clock at night for some reason. I don't know why, but if I post it like 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night, my, my content seems to do better. So I will post some content later today that's talking about, you know, the free wife, the free sex phenomena. See, when you're out here just giving it away, there's no mystery. There's no cost to being with you as a woman. There's no mystery. A woman, a man can see all of your body, all of your backside, all of your breasts, all your cleavage, everything you got. Like, where's the mystery? There's no mystery in that. There's nothing about that that makes a man want to get to know more. Let me, you know, what what do I need to do to see more? He see it all. He ain't got to do nothing. You give him free peeps. You give him free looks. So there is no incentive for him to work hard to You know, and it's unfortunate. And don't even get me started on pornography. Pornography plays a huge part. That's a sociological phenomenon now in the last 25 years. Pornography, because it is so accessible, because you can literally pick up your phone and look at pornography. The average man, the average 30-year-old man has seen more naked women in his 30 years than your grandfather did when when he died at 100 years old. Like, it's crazy. There is no incentive to work hard to be with a a really good woman. And like I said, the men are saying it, and you all don't want to listen, but the price of women, you know, the value of women has gone down. It's gone down. And for some reason, you all just will not accept that. But the value of women has gone exponentially down. It's not as valuable as it once was. Sorry, sweetheart, it's not. And so what is what is their incentive? What is what is their incentive to want to work hard and and take care of you and win your heart and take care of your children and buy you a home and all of that? There's no incentive to do that. Because you all are free wives. You all get free sex. So that's the harsh truth. I, I, I tried to make it quick. I might you know, expand on this topic a little more. Um, Too many women are focused on competing uh, with other women on things men seriously dislike. We want strong, intelligent, feminine women, uh, not girls advertising sex precisely. Um, I ask men if they have OnlyFans, if they joke and say yes or give no hard no, I move on. And you should, and you should. That's an easy one. That's an easy way to vet. Yeah. No, thank you. If you watch pornography, what you and remember, we don't straight up say, do you watch pornography? What's your relationship with porn? Have you ever seen it? Did you see it when you were young? How young were you when you were introduced to porn? Do you watch it now? Um, you want to have conversations about porn and sex and all the things. I ask men, how often do you masturbate? You know, like I'm very direct. I have very direct com- conversations about sex, about pornography, about all that sexual history. I don't know why more people are not talking about sex. I don't understand it. Y'all want to have sex, but you don't want to talk about sex. That don't make no sense to me. But yeah, it's a lot of reasons why. And unfortunately, y'all don't want to hear this. The women don't want to hear this. (laughs) But y'all are part of the problem. You are part of the problem. And that's why I do what I do. That's why I tell y'all. 
cover yourselves up. Stop taking these pictures and these videos and posting them on social media. Stop giving men free sex. Stop being a free wife. I don't know how many times I have to say it. But y'all don't listen and you want to go out here and do the opposite of what I tell you to do. Then you want to cry underneath my post or, or, oh, it ain't everybody or this or that and ain't no good men and what's wrong with these men. Y'all are part of the problem. And that's why I do what I do. And, and people have accused me of slut shaming. You're darn right I'm slut shaming because it's the women out here giving away free sex, being a free wife that's driving the price of sex down. The price of sex is in hell. Okay, it's free ninety nine. So yeah, call me a slut shamer. You darn tootin'. Because if I don't, if good women don't check the other women, won't none of us have no man. Won't none of us have no opportunity? Because the men are like, yeah, most of y'all are easy. Most of y'all are cheap. And, you know, I'm just keeping it real. They love to have fun with you, but they're not trying to wife you. They're not trying to be in a relationship with you. Men will, men will take free sex hand over fist all day long. It's like standing out on the corner giving out $100 bills. Okay? They will get in line twice, three times. But stop. Close the shop. Okay? Close the store. I'm closed for business. Okay? That's it. The reality is that there are more women than men out there. Women act like they are the prize when they are the majority. Uh, there will always, to some extent, be more women than men, and that's because of men. Um, they die by violence. They die by suicide. Um, there's lots of reasons. Men die in wars. There will always be more women than men. So that's just, that's just a sociological fact. That's radical. Most good men masturbate. Mm. I, and again, I ask for your relationship with masturbation. If you are masturbating three times a day, you have a problem. That's all. I'm not saying you can't touch yourself. I'm saying, what do you masturbate? How often? You know, I want to know your relationship with it. What's your relationship with masturbation? What's your relationship with porn? What are you looking at when you masturbate? Are you using your imagination? All those things matter. So, yeah, you can call it radical, but especially today, like, I, t I, I don't take any chances, especially with this porn culture. I don't want anything to do with it. It's, it's, it's devious. It's devious. It's demonic. I don't want nothing to do with the porn culture. Okay? So I speak out on that on the regular because it's devious. It's demonic. All right? Nope. I don't want anything to do with anything demonic. I'm not interested. All right. I got to get in here. Um... I got some other things I got to talk about. I actually wrote them down. I actually wrote them down, y'all. I got a list. But I just wanted to jump on here and talk about this real quick. He said, not much to be obsessed about. I agree. And it's unfortunate. But now women have to sow what they've reaped. You know, they they going to sow what they, what they, they going to, I'm sorry. They going to reap what they sow. I'm all confused. They going to reap what they sow. And that's just what it is. I'm just trying to stay far away from it. They are going to reap what they sow. And whether it's the whole feminism agenda, whether it's the whole, you know, trying to be a sex kitten and all of that foolishness. Like, yeah, don't know. You try to look like a sex kitten. All you're going to get is some sex. So like, <laughs> that's how that works. So, all right. Have a great day. I am uh, I'm heading into the office. Thank you so much for joining me. And as always, stay open to love. <laughs>